So here's the review checklist PowerPoint one. Lori, that's a great question. This is um, a PC view. I, I yes, I work with um, a PC, not a Mac, if, to clarify for anyone. So again, we're going to go through the checklist. This is from the first seminar. Plan your slides before, uh, before using PowerPoint. Facts, title slides, how many slides. Make sure you know what you're going to present. Pick your template. Keep it thematically appropriate. Simple is best. Experiment with different tools in PowerPoint. The best way to learn is through practice and application. Make sure all your videos, film, narration work before submission or presentation. Cite your work as needed with a works cited slide. Um, you can reference the Writing Center for more information on that and definitely discuss with your professors or whoever you're working with to make sure that you have the correct um, citation. Then research. If you have a question, find an answer. YouTube has great resources and we have a YouTube channel here at the um, Walden Academic Skills Center with tutorials and PowerPoint and other programs um, as well as a place to ask questions and have answers to your questions as well. Then the second um, checklist is from Seminar 2, and that's your arrangement checklist. Um, your arrangement is very important in PowerPoint. You remember, you want to select a theme that suits your topic and will engage your audience. Select transitions that are smooth. When narrating a presentation, make sure you rehearse what you want to say, speak clearly, and enunciate your words. Make sure your computer has recording abilities, if that's possible. For film and video, depending on the file source, make sure you embed the link in your presentation. Make sure the film you choose works before you prevent, um, before submission. Most of all, experiment and have fun. Finally, some homework for you. Definitely practice with PowerPoint. Learn through trial and error. Ask questions and do a little research. Again, the Academic Skills Center has great resources. And plan your presentation from the beginning. That's always a great thing to remember is plan and have your ideas or at least have a nice sense of what you want to present and what direction you want to go.